Hello friends, today we're talking about, you know, star scorecards, the series, cheat code 5.4e. We're getting into algebra. We're getting into like multi-step problems and variables and an order of operations. So what are we doing? Describe the meaning of a parenthesis. That's the gist. In this teak, with this cheat code, you just have to be able to describe the meaning of a parenthesis. So order of operations, these are the rules that say uh, which calculation comes first? So do you do multiply first, or do you subtract first, or do you divide? Those, that's the order of operations. A bracket or a parentheses is the same thing. It's, it's, it's a grouping, okay? Brackets are symbols used in, in pairs to group things together. To group, that's what a parentheses. Parentheses are just round brackets, okay? That's what they look like. They're just, you know, you can, <laughs> like this. Um, an equivalent expression is another uh, vocab term that you need to have for this uh, for this t having the same value expressions that look that that are the same even though they may look different. Okay, so you might have different order of numbers, but the end result is the same. They're equivalent expressions, and equivalent this asterisk that will be on your star test. This word, and then to simplify in general is to make the expression or the equation easier to use. Here are the order of operations. PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. She's crazy. She's a little wild. So you do parentheses first. Look, parentheses. That's the first thing you do in an equation. Always, okay? So, an expression is given. Which statement is true about the parentheses in this expression? So. As far as the order of operations are concerned, you do the parentheses first. So that is 8 plus 2. What's inside of it? 8 plus 2 is 10. 3 times 10 divided by 2. That is the new equation. That's a simplified version of the equation. The parentheses indicate that 8 plus 2 should be solved first. Yes. The parentheses indicate that 8 plus 2 should be solved last. No, that is wrong. The parentheses indicate that 2 divided by 2 should... No, it is... The parentheses is first, number one, okay? That's what it means every time. All right. Three students evaluated the expression eight times three plus two minus six times two and got three different answers. Sarah said the answer was 40. Mark said 28. Daniel said the answer was 68. Who is correct? Well, let's do it. Three plus two. Right, so let's do the parentheses first. 3 plus 2 is 5 minus 6 times 2 is 12. Oh, we can't even do that. So 8 times 5 minus, okay. So now we continue with the order of operations. Parentheses, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Multiply is next. 8 times 5 is 40 minus 12 equals 40 minus 12 is 28. Hmm. Mark said 28. Mark is correct. You have to do the parentheses first, and then you multiply and divide, then you add and subtract. All right, so meaning of parentheses. Parentheses come first. Groupings come first. At the beginning of a baseball tournament, there were 20 teams with 12 players on each team. After the first two days, after the first day, two more teams of 12 players asked if they could play. The following day, three teams of 12 players each were eliminated. To find out how many baseball players were left in the tournament, Paul worked the equation. Whoa. All of this, all of that is simplified for us. They gave us the equation here with this question. So you just have to do this. You can understand 20 teams with 12 players. Okay, 20 times 12. Perfect. After the first day, two more teams of 12. So 2 times 12. And then the following day, they were eliminated. So that is a minus. Minus 3 times 12. 20 times 12. Let's do the math. Uh, 12 times 20. Okay. We'll add our 0 for 0. Okay. And then 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. 240. Plus, 12 times 2 is 24. 240 plus 24 equals, what does that equal? 
So 240 plus 24, 4, 6, 264 minus uh, 3 times 12 is 36. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3, 36. 264 minus 36 equals, so let's do that, 36. Borrow from the 6, that's 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. 14 minus 6 is 8. 228 is my final answer. Don't get freaked out by the long lot of words, lot of words, lot of words. Take a deep breath. If you get confused, reread it two times, three times, four times. Calm down. And then it's nice. They gave you the equation. So all you have to do is the parentheses and do the parentheses first. And then then multiply or you know do the next operations mark and karen each simplified one of the expressions below okay if they add the results together so you have to add these together add the results so you know a plus b right a plus b we're going to add mark and karen together let's solve marks first five times four is 20 minus 2 plus 6. So 5 times uh, 4 is 20, minus 2 is 18, plus 6. What is 18 plus 6 is 24. All right. So 24. Now let's do this first. Um, 2 plus 6 is 8, right? 5 times 4 is 20 minus 8. Well, what's 20 minus 8? 20 minus 8 is 12. Okay, so this is 12. So Karen is 12, Mark is 4. What's 24 plus 12? That's 36. You have to do your parentheses first. Your groupings are solved first. Com solve the inside of the pair, the inside of the parentheses, and then you can complete the rest of the problem. Thanks, Cass.